Hi Leo, welcome. My name is Trina and this is TNT. Thank you for joining me today. All of my readings are timeless, so no matter when you come across this message, there should be something in here for you. This is a treasures reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, or Venus, and Rising. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. So, let's get at it. <clears throat> Silver Dragon. It il illuminates your potential with higher light. Access untapped resources, look into your soul, and see higher possibilities. Cool. Golden Atlantean Dragon. Helps you remember the wisdom of Golden Atlantis. Awaken, bring back your knowledge, gifts, and talents. Reclaim your mastery. Sunshine Yellow Dragon. Helps you to help animals. Serve animals, heal, respect, and understand them. Cool. And we have Dusty Pink Dragon from Andromeda. Prepares all your chakras to embody higher love. Accept and radiate higher love. Touch others with, with its flame. Okay. Why do we have the Silver Dragon here for Leo? Why do we have Silver Dragon here for Leo? Hangman. Hermit. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. So here, this is an energy of really, really trying to see a new perspective in life. And you're doing some deep soul searching to get this new perspective, but you're not finding it. There's a block there. There's a block in the way. You're not really finding it. You're, you're disappointed by it. Why do we have the Golden Atlantean Dragon here? Why do we have Golden Atlantean Dragon here? Moon. The Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. So you're learning how to be independent here. This is definitely an independent energy. Um, there's a lot of unknown things about being independent for you. Maybe you're used to being with someone. Maybe you're used to having that partner and you're just newly alone. Trying to figure life out independently. Why do we have the Sunshine Yellow Dragon here for Leo? Why do we have Sunshine Yellow, dra yellow Dragon here for Leo? The Two of Cups. The Knight of Cups. And then Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is like you've worked really hard to live in harmony with somebody. Um, and you thought you were a really good catch, but it, they didn't they didn't want to continue the relationship here. But this has allowed you to be independent and you're learning independence and that's really great. Really good step in life. So, why do we have Dusty Pink Dragon from Andromeda here? Dusty Pink Dragon from Andromeda. Why do we have it here for Leo? Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups. So this is an energy of <clears throat> really knowing that you deserve better and you're willing to walk away from this. Um, you're Unfortunately, you're wanting to hang on to some things here. You're, you're wanting to hang on to some things like things not people you're okay letting go of people here in this situation but you're not okay with letting go of some of the things for some reason but it looks like you won't have to actually it really really looks like in this case you won't have to let go of those things <laughs> okay we have root chakra i have everything i need to survive and grow in the physical plane cool. the present i fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present Okay. Meditation. I meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through. Wheel of life. I am guided by the cycles of life and to live in complete harmony with them. Crystal ascension. I am attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the crystal kingdom. Kingdom. Okay, so this is definitely a lot of growth here in your life. I'm not surprised by the first four cards here and what we started with, but this is definitely a lot of growth towards towards the, the greater good, like towards a higher higher sense of self here. Okay, why do we have the Root Chakra card here for Leo? Why do we have Root Chakra card here for Leo? Five of Pentacles, the Magician, and the King of Cups. Yeah, your root work on your Root Chakra here is going to keep you grounded, which you need to do to avoid these hardships. Because 
yes, you know about, you know, you have the energy of the magician here and the king of cups, which is really great energy. But you also know that there's hardships in life. And this isn't quite realistic just to, you know, be, you don't believe in magic. <laughs> okay, um, the present. Why do we have the present card here for Leo? Why do we have the present? The Queen of Wands. The Five of Cups. And the Sun. That's an interesting combination of cards there. It's an interesting energy. So this is the Queen of Wands. She is, you're working, your goal, you're going towards the sun here you're growing towards the sun by living in the present in the present moment and paying attention to the present moment okay why do we have meditation card here for leo why do we have the meditation card here for leo the king of swords the two of swords and the world yeah this is like going to, this is an energy of of your learning you're also learning with quiet meditation. Um, it doesn't have to be actual meditation, just quietness, stillness within yourself. It's allowing you to learn exactly what you need to learn to make the right choices in life here. There's been some indecision and some wrong decisions and you're really focusing on, you're really focusing on repairing that. Um, why do we have the wheel of life here for Leo? Why do we have the wheel of life for Leo? The four of cups, the tower, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're super disappointed with how your life has turned out here. Or turning out. You're very disappointed. So you've decided that you're going to pull out all the stops and go after what you desire. Because this is not working out for you. Life kind of sucks. But once you figure out what you desire, it's it's going to be a lot less mundane and you're going to get start getting what you want. Why do we have the Crystal Ascension card here for Leo? Why do we have Crystal Ascension? Um, the Six of Wands, Page of Cups, <clears throat> and the Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. Okay, so this is also an energy of learning um, with the Page of Cups. Um, this is about this is about which learning which direction to travel in life. It's about learning which direction to travel in life, and the right one is up. Definitely, the right one is up. The right direction to travel is up. And you're learning this. So it's becoming fairly obvious what you need to do and how to get there to succeed in life. And this is your tre this is your treasure. This is your reward. Is that you know exactly where to go and what to do to get that success you so strongly desire. You're figuring that out here. So that's your treasure. Okay. If you like this reading, please feel free to like, donate, share, subscribe, comment. All of these things will help my channel grow. Excuse me. I appreciate all of your support and I hope you have a wonderful day.